Hi, it's John Coach from Ace R&D. Today I've got a stoker crankshaft out of a big block Chevy on the milling machine. And I've got to cut this for an additional keyway because they're going to be putting a blower on this engine. And so I've got the crank lined up and ready to go. I just want to show you how this is done. First pass, we're going to dial the machine up another 50 thousandths. And make a second pass here. It's going to take about three or four passes to make this happen. dimension and the final cut. Alright, the last thing we have to do is deburr this. I'm do that with a small file. And we're all set to go. As you can see on the dampener, the quarter inch keyway is at the bottom which now is the top position here and that's exactly what we've done here on our crankshaft 
The idea behind this additional key is to keep the dampener and pulley from rotating. Uh, the standard 3 16 wide little keyway that's in there just isn't quite enough for doing a big block Chevy with a big blower on it. Anyway, if you have questions about keyway cutting or crankshafts, give John at Costa Mesa R&D a call. We'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.